oh, welcome back to my channel this is again your girl rose from a taste of the rose thank you so much for coming back to another one of my cooking videos um on tonight's menu i'm gonna teach you guys how to make a really simple uh one ensalada with a grilled chicken um this chicken i'm going to cook it in my air fryer which i love by the way but if you don't have an air fryer i will also show you how to cook it in the oven um, so it's pretty much just a salad, like a, a, a salad that you buy like at McDonald's. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how I season my chicken. Acompáñenme para enseñarles los ingredientes para esta rica y deliciosa receta. Oh, one more thing. Um, a lot of these videos I basically do not really to show you guys how to cook because a lot of people already know how to cook a lot of the stuff that I make. But it's kind of basically also, it's basically kind of to give you guys an idea of what to make for dinner. Sometimes I know that we're like, damn, I don't know what to make for dinner. What should I make for dinner? What not? This is kind of to, you know, to give you guys a little bit of an idea of some of the stuff that I make for dinner. Maybe some of the stuff that you guys can make for dinner. Now, without further ado, let's go check out los ingredientes, our ingredients for this delicious recipe. So in this house, apparently, we are trying to eat healthy. Um, actually, my son started doing a, 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 meal, a, a meal plan and working out at the gym and whatnot, so I'm trying to cook a little bit healthier, kind of to help him out, you know, with his um, with his goals and stuff and not put so much temptation of the fatty foods and whatnot. Anyway, without all that put aside, our ingredients, nuestros ingredientes para esta receta, of course, is chicken breast. Tenemos aquí pechugas de pollo. These are frozen. Tenemos pechuga de pollo. Para sazonar la pechuga de pollo tenemos sal, tenemos cayenne pepper, tenemos garlic powder, tenemos smoked paprika. It's really important, there's a big difference between smoked paprika and regular paprika. So we want smoked paprika, pepper. We also have um, vegetable oil and this is all to season our chicken. Now, para la ensalada tenemos, uh, aquí tengo a uh, romaine blend of, of uh, lettuce. We have croutons, we have our ranch. You can use the dressing of your choice. We just love ranch in this house. We have a uh, cheese blend. I like the cheddar, ch uh, cheddar jack cheese blend. We have um, cherry tomatoes, we have cucumbers, and we also have eggs. I'm gonna boil about six eggs because everybody loves eggs in this house, well, hard boiled eggs in this house. So eggs, if you guys don't know how to boil eggs, that's gonna be a whole nother video, let me know. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so it turns out that our chicken is a little bit too on the frozen side. So I'm gonna, um, I stuck it in the microwave to defrost a little bit because I, they are really thick and I need to slice them at least in half so that they could cook evenly. So while our chicken is defrosting for just a little bit, probably like 10 minutes only, I'm going to put it to defrost. Just enough so that um, I'm able to cut into it. So while my chicken's defrosting, I'm going to go ahead and go put these eggs to boil. Join me so I can show you guys how to boil some eggs. Alright, so aquí ya puse mis huevos. Huevos! And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put enough water in this to cover all of the eggs. And I'll show you guys right now. Y aquí ya tenemos el agua suficiente nada más para cubrir los huevos. Now we're going to put this on the stove. We're going to set it on high. Once it starts boiling, we're going to we want these to boil for about 12 minutes and um, before we shut them off. So, while our eggs are boiling and our chicken is defrosting, what we're going to do is que vamos a echar all of our seasonings into just a little bowl and mix them all together because we want to mix this all together and then we're going to rub it on the on the chicken breast um, and then proceed to cook it. So I'm going to go ahead and start by adding salt. I have a live audience over here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi to my people? Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so ahí tenemos la sal. And then we have the cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper too. I like pepper with my tomatoes. We have um, garlic powder. What this is? Ketchup. 
We have the um, smoked paprika, que también le vamos a echar aquí. And our pepper. And you just mix this all together. Um, you can, once you mix it, you can taste it. Si piensan ustedes que le hace falta algo, um, feel free to add whatever you want out of these ingredients because, oh, you guys know what I'm missing? Parsley leaves. Let me go get my parsley. Se me andaba olvidando um, the parsley flakes. It's, this is not the, um, these are not the same as the parsley leaves that I used yesterday. The ones that I used yesterday for our um, uh, fish were fresh. These are dried. So that's also going to go up in the remix. And you're just going to give this a good blend. I'm going to have to add more out of all, uh, of, all of this because the miso demasiado poquito mixture. And I want to make sure, we want to make sure that our um, oils are nice and marinated from both sides and this is not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more of all this and I'll show you guys the final seasoning blend thing with Jamie in just a second. So ya nuestro, um, quedó nuestro seasoning blend. Está bien picosito, por cierto, muy sabroso. I think the cayenne pepper gave it like a, a kick. Also, we have our chicken breast. They are now defrosted at least defrosted enough so that I could cut into them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a breast and I'm gonna cut it in half. Just right down the middle. So de uno se hicieron dos, like that. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna, well, let me cut both of these. Ahí quedó la primera. Cut it in half, just like that. So I get that on. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray these with, we're gonna get our um, vegetable oil, oil cooking spray. You could use olive oil, um, canola, canola oil. You can use whatever oil you want. I always use vegetable oil. That's just my personal preference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, spray our pollo. And then we are going to rub it with our mix, with our seasoning mix, like so. De los dos lados, que quede bien embarradito nuestro pollo. So it's gonna look like this, and we're gonna set it aside. We are gonna do this to all of our pollo. Just rub it really, really nice and really well. Y así quedó nuestro pollo. This is what it should look like right before we throw it into our air fryer. It smells amazing, guys. And now we're gonna go ahead and go and put it to cook so we could continue to assemble the rest of our ensalada. Now it's nice and preheated, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken breast in there. We're gonna add um, two pieces at a time, so it's basically one whole breast. And we are gonna, I already sprinkled it with um, a little bit of vegetable oil on the bottom. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we are going to cook this at 380 degrees for about 10 minutes flipping the chicken breast halfway. So while this is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and go um, cut up our veggies for our ensalada. Los huevos ya les apagué, ya están hirviendo. So let's go ahead and get to our salad. Um, if you guys don't have an air fryer, the other way to do it is in the oven. You preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Once it's to 350 degrees, you put your um, chicken in a baking dish and then you stick it in the oven for about 12 minutes. Um, you guys can check it as long as the juices are all absorbed and um, it's cooked, then it's good and that's the way to do it. So the eggs are now, um, ya los quité del, del fuego. Este, los puse en agua fría para que se enfríen un poquito, por, para que no se nos, you know, when I start cutting them up, para que no se me deshaga toda la yema and stuff. 
So, aquí ya tengo mi ensalada lavada. I have already put it into a mixing bowl, into a salad bowl. I have aquí también nuestros tomates. Cherry tomatoes también están lavaditos. We're going to go ahead and add them in here. También ya pelé mi pepino. Solamente hace falta cortarlo. So, we're going to cut it like that in half and then in medias lunas. Up your pepino however you want it this is all to preference to your liking you could also skip the pepino si no quieren echarle pepino pues no le echen si no le gusta alguno de los ingredientes que le estoy echando a mi ensalada pues no le eche así de fácil so ahí, ahí van nuestros tomates ahí va nuestro pepino y también le vamos a echar um, I wasn't going to put purple onion but I found half of a purple or a quarter of a purple onion that I had in the fridge, so I might as well just use it. This is also to your liking, to your preference. I think las voy a dejar así en rajas de, de media luna también. And we're just gonna go ahead and add it up in the ring mix, up in the salad. And this is basically, I mean, you can add basically whatever vegetables you like. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Um, yeah, and now we're just waiting on our chicken. You guys, Roman lettuce, Romaine lettuce. So now our salad is done. We are basically just waiting on our chicken. And the remaining ingredients, los vamos a echar ya que we're quick, once we are assembling our salad. And it looks like our chicken might be done, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and cut up our eggs. Our eggs have been sitting in cold water para que, como les dije, no se me despedacen demasiado. We're going to cut them in half, and then we're going to cut them in half of a half. And then we're going to cut them, we're just going to chop them up like that in little squares. If it's your preference, you can take out the yolk. It comes out very easily and just use the egg whites. We like it all. It's part of, ahora sí, hasta el pollo, the protein. Part of the protein. Might be bad for your cholesterol, I don't know. I mean, we can't win them all. Well, take a look at that. This is absolutely perfect, people. 10 minutes is all it took, 10 minutes. And it is fully cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and slice it like so. Así lo vamos a, a cortar. Ah, lo pueden cortar en tiritas largas o lo pueden cortar en little chunky squares. That's all up to your liking. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And now I'm going to assemble my salad. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a little bit of this stuff on my bowl. We're also going to add some huevito. We are also going to add some quesito and some croutons. Get on those croutons. And then we're going to get our chicken and we're just going to place it on top of our, of our um, salad that we got going on here. And we're going to go ahead and add our ranch. Oh, oh. The ranch is to your liking. And that is all. I give them nuestra ensalada and we are ready for the taste. And now we are ready for the taste test. Look how amazing this looks. And um, let me just tell you guys that this chicken, ooh, baby. So good. Already had a little taste of it. Super delicious. Not. If you season your chicken the way I taught you guys in this video, you cannot go wrong. This tastes amazing. The flavor that this chicken has, and then combined with the egg and the cheese and the even the onion, the purple onion. Oh, that's a big one. So so good, you guys.
This chicken is the bomb. Mm. all for today guys I really hope that you guys enjoy this video I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe don't mind my my nappy ass hair because today was not a good day but <clears throat> I hope you guys try this recipe I hope that you guys like it and let me know what you think about it um, yeah let me know if you guys have any suggestions for recipes that you guys would like to see in the future let me know I take all the feedback the good the bad and the ugly um, with that being said, if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And uh, watch out for the new video, watch out for the next video. And like always, I will catch you all on the flip side.